are making a dessert. Uh, this dessert is a homemade cake. In Macedonian, it is called machali, or in Croatian, it is called chupapsi. It is a vanilla sponge cake that we are going to make from scratch, and then we're going to take and cut them into cubes and roll them in melted chocolate, and then finally uh, finish them off with coconut. Now for the coconut, um, you're going to need a really fine coconut. I find this in our local international market. It is very, very fine. Um, whereas if you buy the ones at like Kroger or Meyer or something, uh, it is the, the coconut is very, um, you know, thicker. So if, if you can't find the, uh, the finely shredded coconut, then I would take the right of the coconut at your local market and put it through the food processor to make it fine. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to take our eggs and separate our eggs, our yolks and our uh, whites, uh, egg whites. We're going to mix our egg whites and then um, add sugar to them and then finally uh, add in our uh, yolks along with the other ingredients. So let's get started. I just added six tablespoons of flour. We're not adding all the flour in at once, but the next thing we want to do after we have added our six tablespoons of flour is put baking powder. What I use is um, a, a, a Macedonian um, brand. It's called Patsy Boy. It's uh, very, it's really good. But if you don't have this and you can't find it in your local international market, I'd add, you want to use a packet of uh, or ten grams of baking uh, powder. So we're going to put that in there, mix it in there, and then we're going to um, add in the rest of our ingredients. We're going to next add our three yolks, one yolk at a time, our milk, and the rest of our um, flour, as well as, as for a little bit of t more taste, uh, some vanilla. What I have here is uh, vanilla in a sugar form, in, in crystals, rather than in a liquid. If you can't find this in your local market, uh, then you can uh, use your regular vanilla extract. So I just finished mixing in all my ingredients, and but I did not use all my flour. The recipe asks for um, about 300 uh, grams of flour, but you, it, which is equivalent to about 16 uh, tablespoons of flour. So that is add each of the all the flour at one tablespoon at a time, and then the consistency of your batter shouldn't be should be just like a cake. It shouldn't be too thick because if it is going to be uh, uh, thick better than it'll be a denser cake and we want it to be a nice uh, fluffy uh, uh, light sponge cake. So now we're going to take our batter, put it in a 9 by 13 oiled uh, pan and bake it in the oven at 350 degrees until it's golden brown. It's about a half hour. is baking we're going to take 250 grams of margarine and melt it down to make our to begin making our uh, chocolate uh, glaze so what I do is I use margarine and butter you want to make sure you do use the margarine because it holds the chocolate together and butter is always a good touch make sure it's unsalted so we're going to melt our margarine and butter mix here and then add our at 100 grams of cooking chocolate. Now that our margarine and chocolate has melted together, we are going to go ahead and add about 200 grams of sugar into this mix, along with approximately 200 milliliters of milk and a cup of, or just like a, one tablespoon of rum and we are all set. Okay, I've added the sugar, the milk, um, the chocolate and, and margarine have melted. The last thing I want to do is add the one tablespoon of rum, bring all of this to, uh, to a boil and we are going to be ready to uh, glaze our cake. So this is our finished cake, we let it cool and now we want to make sure we cut it first. 
So I want to make sure I find the center this way and the center this way and begin, begin cutting it into squares. Okay, so we've assembled our ingredients that we need to do to um, uh, roll our cake here in the chocolate and the coconut and the set it here. So the first thing I want to do is um, take like a skewer for shish kebabs and put it in the kebabs of the cake, dip it in the chocolate here. You know, don't um, leave it in there too long. Just dip it, uh, let the excess fall off, quickly roll it in the coconut, the finely shredded coconut, and then place it on your pan. So we're gonna do that to all our uh, little mini cakes. Oh.